I think often there can be a perceived notion that Shakespeare is difficult to engage with and difficult to understand. It's a heightened language, and of course, um, a great deal of information is often imparted uh, of the course of kind of opening scenes of any Shakespeare, whether it's a history, a tragedy, a comedy. It's an experience as a director I often fear myself on the first day of rehearsals when going into rehearsing a new Shakespeare. Am I going to be able to understand everything? Is there a danger um, that there will be too many obstacles between the text and the story for me really to understand what's going on and to, to, to be able to kind of engage within the emotional narrative of the piece and uh, of course like all great playwrights Shakespeare's work is both produced well and uh, sometimes it's also produced badly and sometimes people do have uh, experiences of um, re really not engaging well with Shakespeare and can be scarred for, for life for better or for worse otherwise. Despite being the son of a humble glover has his work nowadays at least solely become the preserve of the middle classes? I, I think Shakespeare was fiercely populist and one must never forget that he didn't just play his work at the great Elizabethan theatres in, in London of the time but also really uh, his work emerged from a tradition of touring and the small clapboard Elizabethan uh, touring stages that uh, played in uh, town halls and public spaces across the country were the kind of backbone really by which he often devised and developed his early work um, so so it, it's um, I think pretty um, uh, unarguable that Shakespeare is a man that was both writing for the courts and for the establishment but also uh, for the general public at large and in every play I think the genius mercurial nature of his writing that it is that it really plays equally um, both to the yard um, but but also uh, you know to the royal box um, has it become the preserve um, of uh, only the wealthy and the middle class? I, I think the question needs to be asked of theatre in general, um, and there is certainly a, a, a danger um, that, that um, you know that, that at times can become the case. But I do think theatre makers are remarkably committed um, to you know in every way opening their arms to the broadest possible audience. And certainly, I speak for myself and so many of my colleagues. The reason we do what we do is because of um, the, the, the wide range of audience is that we're able to draw into the theatre and we're constantly asking how can we cultivate the kind of broadest broadest possible audience of old and young and uh, also established theatre growers and new theatre growers alike um, and, and how better to do that than with the dynamic, emotional, exciting, uh, expertly kind of um, woven narratives of Shakespeare himself.